first lift off with a soundtrack right there. That's Brand true. new era in space exploration. There's another look. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, seeing that Tesla with Starman, that's the mannequin, you know, driving into orbit. Real it's car. So, I know, it's real car. And, cool. and some people don't believe that image, but it is a real image. In fact, the New York Post is out with this cover calling it Car Trek. I love it. And ABC's David Curley, he was there, lucky yeah. man. He was there to witness the incredible launch of that. And he's joining us now from Titusville, Florida. Good morning, David. Morning, Michael. A new space race is on this morning, and Elon Musk just took a half billion dollar leap ahead of the competition. He launched a private company, the biggest rocket in the world, successfully with the most unusual cargo we've probably ever seen. He sent his car into space. It is headed to Mars at this hour after sending back some spectacular pictures. Three, two, Now the biggest rocket in the world, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, three rockets strapped together, launched a new era of American space travel. Successful separation. But this was different. The boosters separated and then flew back to Earth landing together, reusable. And the Falcons have landed. The center rocket coming back to Earth ran out of fuel and slammed into the ocean. It was lost. A setback for the $90 million test flight, which needed some cargo. And rather than concrete, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who also runs the electric car company Tesla, decided the payload, the weight at the head of the rocket under the skin, would be his electric car, a red roadster. So there it was, a car with a dummy in a spacesuit, exposed to space, floating and sending spectacular pictures back of it and the Earth with David Bowie music playing in the background. <laughs> Musk says he thought this launch only had a 50% chance of this spectacular success. What did Falcon Heavy teach you? Crazy things can come true. Because um, like, I, uh, he said like, I didn't really think this would work. Um, because when I see the rocket lift off, I see like a thousand things that that could not work, and it's amazing when they do. So for a few hours before the rocket and this Tesla were boosted toward Mars and the sun, those amazing pictures. Even for Musk, he found it funny, silly, iconic, and wondering if thousands or millions of years from now, aliens might discover this strange test cargo. Thinking, what the heck, what, what were these guys doing? Did they worship this car? <laughs> <laughs> With the six... With the success, Musk now has the advantage of sending rockets, satellites, maybe even humans into space. It's billions of dollars of business. Michael, he says he may send another one of these Falcon Heavies up into the space area in a matter of months, actually. Mm. And, but David, where exactly is that Tesla Rosa and Starman right now? All right, so it's circled the Earth. We got those spectacular pictures. And then last night, the final burn, they sent it off headed toward Mars. It is going there this morning. It could be out there for millions, a billion years, if it actually survives space. <laughs> Looked like it's surviving all right so far. Mm -hmm. All right, David Curley, thank you so much. And the launch was impressed more than us. It impressed Bill Nye, the science guy. And he tweeted this picture celebrating the launch with the Buzz Aldrin. He said he walked on the moon, you know. <laughs> and one person actually compared the Tesla image to the iconic moment in the movie E.T. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. The more you see it, the more amazed you are by it. Really, that's really true. impressive feat.